Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Come along with me today as I do a clean of my house and some deep cleaning, some much needed deep cleaning. So we are going to start off with my master bath, which doesn't get done as often as it should, but it needed to be done today, so I did it. Um, I'm sorry for not posting videos. Uh, all of my children ended up with RSV, so we were all sick. I mean, me and my partner didn't get RSV, but my kids had RSV, so that was kind of scary. And then the holidays, my birthday is actually Christmas Eve too, so, you know, it's it's been busy for us. Moving on to the mirror and the sink. So I don't use this bathroom other than like sometimes having a bath or going to the washroom at night. This is mostly like my partner's bathroom. So it it gets kind of dirty sometimes with beard dye and that. But uh, other than that, it's not so bad. Next, moving on to making the bed. So I make the bed every single day, no matter what. Even if it's just before I'm getting into bed to go to sleep, I make the bed. I feel like it just it's just something that I need to do. I make the bed every single day. Dusting the windowsills in my bedroom, so they don't, they, they collect quite a lot of dust, I don't do it all the time, sometimes I usually just use like an actual little fluffy duster thing, but today I thought that they could probably use a good wipe down.
Next, moving on to my little makeup getting ready station. I don't really know what you'd call this, but this is where I get ready when I do get ready, which is not very often. Uh, I'm working on like a sleep routine, getting a schedule down and stuff like that, because my baby is not not sleep trained at all. The only time she sleeps is when she's nursing and I have to hold her. My partner can't hold her nothing. It's very difficult, but we're working on it. working on the girls room as you can see it is kind of a disaster zone and let me tell you since Christmas it has been a disaster zone every single day where they basically need help cleaning it because they trash it so much that it's too overwhelming it's kind of annoying but we'll get through it slowly teaching them you know put a toy away before you grab a new toy and it'll make life easier but moving on to getting this all cleaned up <laughs> is just like a little closet that we have um it's not i wouldn't really say it's a pantry because it's not even anywhere near the kitchen so we just use it to put like cleaning products in you know the vacuums the stuff like that right like medical stuff you know band-aids all that sort of stuff that's what we use it for so i'm just kind of giving it a quick uh, organize here <music> Okay, so the coat closet at the front door. We have way too many shoes, that's all I have to say. Am I willing to get rid of any of my shoes? No. Uh, it's mostly my partner's shoes. Uh, realistically, we should probably move the shoes that we don't wear very often to the closet, like our master closet, but we'll save that for another day. As long as I got it, you know, cleaned up, then I'm happy. <laughs> So these two little chairs that are here at the front door, just because, you know, it's carrying a baby, kids, stuff like that, it's a lot easier to sit and put your shoes on. What I really want to do is get my partner to build some sort of a bench here. Um, or this is another thing on our to-do list because obviously the chairs are kind of look tacky. And it would be nice to have something that is like a nice wooden bench there. <laughs>
so the kitchen. As you can see, the kitchen is a little bit of a disaster zone. I'm also turning on a podcast, so I've been really into like self-help, mindful podcasts. I don't know. They just, they kind of give me motivation to do things that I don't want to do, I guess you could say, you know, clear-minded, stuff like that. So I'm just moving on to cleaning up the kitchen, letting the dogs in and out, in and out, as you'll see here. It's, it's a thing, but it happens. So moving on to the kitchen table, I'm going to be doing a deep clean of this table, like wiping all the legs of the chairs, wiping all the legs of the tables. It really, really needs it. Like it looks clean from this far away in the camera, but I can assure you that it, it really is not. So just moving on to doing that before the holidays.
little space in all of my chairs collects so much dust and dirt, it's annoying and it makes them look gross. Is it something that I clean every single time I wipe down the chairs or the table? No. Should I? Probably make my life easier, but I don't, so. There's like this little ring between the seat and the rest of the um, extra saucer and it also collects spit up dust all of that so I'm just struggling very hard here to get this um, <laughs> this chair thing off here so then that way I can wipe in there and then I just sprayed all the toys down with like a Lysol sanitizing spray which I didn't get on video but I did do that before I put all the toys back on. <laughs> see this is kind of like the office setup for now again until we get the desk built downstairs for an office setup for my partner and I but it is also the first table when you come in through the front door you can see the chair behind there to the left so it is also the dumping zone for everything as you can see here the baby's room is also trashed I was Definitely behind on some things, putting away some clothes, stuff like that. Um, the only time she uses this room, to be honest, is when I change her diaper or get her dressed because, again, she's not uh, crib trained. So I'm, I am working on that. It is, it is a struggle. She will not take a bottle. She will not take a soother. She will not sleep for anybody else. She will only sleep for me and on me and soothing on me after she's been fed. It is very difficult. She's also not really on a routine, so I'm working right now on a schedule and then I will work on sleep training. So next I'm going to move on to vacuuming the couches. So we don't really eat in the living room. Like my partner and I eat in the living room sometimes when we're watching movies like chips or whatever. Other than that, there's the kids aren't allowed food in the living room or anything like that because they just they just make a giant mess. And when you're sitting at the table, you can see the TV, but they aren't allowed to watch TV while eating. The only time they eat on the couch actually is when we're having like a movie night with them and we let them have popcorn. And it always turns into a disaster, but... It's worth it because they get to have fun. Other than that, there's no eating on the couches.
Again, moving on to dusting the window sills. And the forbidden dreaded laundry. So I started it here. Baby was not happy. Other things happened. Uh, then I had to come back to finish folding it, which it's always awesome, right? Because by the time you come back to it, you don't really want to finish folding it. You just kind of want to leave it, put it in the basket, put it on the floor, call it a day. But I did end up getting a lot of laundry folded and washed and done. This is the next day and I'm moving on to taking the covers off of the back cushions, throwing them in the wash. I also threw the pillows in the wash and then I shampooed the actual cushions that you sit on and the sides of the couch and stuff like that. It really needed to be done. I regret buying light couches. I really want like a sectional lazy boy leather couch, but obviously, you know, other things got to come first but that would be ideal. The water after running it over just the cushions on one couch how gross is that that is gross like just one cushion not one cushion but the cushions on one couch anyways is so gross so now I'm moving on to the outside of the couch so I'm just spraying it with some like uh, carpet cleaner stuff and then I have water in the little Bissell machine to you know kind of like wash off the soap um, so that way it doesn't leave like a soapy residue. So that's how I like to do it. Okay, so this next dump in the toilet is all of the water that came off the outside of the couch, like what I'm doing right here. So gross. But I would like to thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.